Now, let me get this straight. You're saying that an explosion in outer space is noiseless? That's right. There are no sounds in outer space. Why is that? Well, sound needs something to carry it. The thing which carries the sound of vibration is called the medium, and the usual medium for sound is air. In outer space, there is no atmosphere, no air, so no sound. Here, listen to this. The reason we can hear the bell is that there is air inside the jar. The sound or vibration of the bell is carried by the air out to the glass jar. Then the glass carries it to the air outside, which carries it to our ears. If we pump the air out of the jar, then the vibration or sound can't make the first part of the trip to the glass jar, so it can't reach our ears. Here, let me demonstrate. With that, the professor switched on a pump he had hooked up to the jar, and it began pulling the air out of the jar. When all of the air was out of the jar, he switched off the pump, and we could clearly hear the absence of sound. It was an eerie feeling to see the bell ringing and hear nothing. But when the professor opened a valve and let the air flow back in, the sound of the bell returned. So if there's no air, there can't be any sound. Well, that's nearly right. Other things besides air can act as the medium and carry the sound. For instance, if I were underwater, you could hear me through the water. Would you like to hear that? Sure. The next day, Professor Taylor took me to the CU swimming pool, jumped in the water, and asked me to hand him a mic. He warned me that although water carries sound very well, it's microphone. difficult to talk clearly underwater. And the key word for today is...